Oh my. But whatever it is you're doing in SA, I don't understand what you're doing, but it's just dope. Yeah. I also don't understand, man. But I feel like people, it will make sense one day. One day, yeah? Yeah, it will. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to ZNB Talks. My name is E.D. Yedne, the people's bay. Today, I'm hanging out with the king, the illest, and he's from the south. Yes. King illest, mommy work a Dude, what's good? I'm nice, I'm nice. The people's bay today are the king's bay. The king's bay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you trim your beard? Uh, every week, twice. Mm. Who trims it? I've uh, got a barber, guy. That's dope. Comes home, trims it up for me. What's good? Well, this week I missed one appointment because I'm up and running about the album and stuff. Mulilo hey. Utazimi. You already know. Why why a Tonga word? Yeah, because I mean I'm Tonga and I'm original, I'm authentic. Mm. And it only just makes sense, you know. But then don't you think now we already know you're from Southern, you're King Indus? Yeah. You don't really have to remind us anymore? Yeah, because the thing was never about trying to prove a point, then I switch up. Nah, it's just mm. who I am and. You know, I remain original as I am. Mm. And uh, uh, it's going to remain that way. And it's, it was never like a marketing strategy. Like, I do this, then I switch up. No. Mm. And earlier on, was telling you to say, I don't know, whatever you're doing in South Africa, the networking was seen. Mm. And was it you that passed the comment saying, I hope you guys are not only taking pictures with these artists. I hope you're really networking. Yeah, man. Because, you know... Networks have done wonders for me, you know what I mean? Mm. And uh, when it comes to networks, magic doesn't have to happen right there and then. It could happen six months down the line mm. or even a year, you yeah. know? But so long you have that network, my biggest investment, I'd rather invest in networking than invest in like a music video. Mm. Yeah, I'd Is that what you're a, doing now? Yeah. Pushing I, the album? Yeah. I think because I understand marketing, maybe marketing, yeah. So I want to, market my brand so much that it's always in people's faces it's familiar and you know mm, did you study really marketing yes i did marketing at Zika's. yeah but i doubt the type of marketing i'm using is the one i learned but it's just like studying the game and you know oh yeah. what do you mean i thought it's the same You're able to yeah, apply whatever you I learn i remember asking one of my lecturers saying i i, I told him to say i'm, I'm gonna do music mm -hmm. then he told me he doesn't, he's not too familiar about the longevity of like music mm. as, as, you know, to marketing. Mm. So he was quite skeptical about it. Mm. But how's it going though? It's good. <laughs> I'm here with you. It's good. It's dope. Yeah. Here's this young man from Riverside. The only thing he had was a dream to represent Zambia. Now we see you networking with people in South Africa. Yeah. When did this dream start for you, King? Yeah, you see, I've, I was, I've always been like an outdoor kid, an extrovert, you know. When you check my star sign, first December, mm. everybody that's in that, you know. I see why you're dropping your album in December. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not even, man. I was supposed to have dropped like on the 11th of November, but oh, okay. yeah, we got to do it right. Especially if you're doing something the first time, it has to be right because you never get a second chance to make the first impression. Mm. Yeah, so... How to do it right. Okay. Sorry for the wait, people. Sorry for the wait. I wish that was a title, but we already have that, right? <laughs> so now, do you, do you feel or think... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's how I'm bypassing these Z-droppers, oh. just like that. <laughs> <laughs> do you still carry the mannerism of where you grew up from in you? Yeah, I still do. But you see, sometimes when you grow up, you are exposed to different environments that mm -hmm. make you do different things. Mm -hmm. But I still do. I still am a child of my mom. Mm. Yeah. And once in a while, she still checks me. Yeah, last born. <laughs> I know. That question just drew me down. <laughs> <laughs> and you said it with so much, like, conviction. Are you, though? Do I strike you like a last born? Yes. Why? I don't know, because remember I told you to say, I, one thing I like to do is do research. Mm. And almost all the interviews I've, I've, I've watched, mm. you've been interviewed, there's always one name, you always bring up your brother's name, Chilala. Oh, yeah. Chilala. Yeah, that's my, my name. So confirm that you're the last boy. Yeah, I'm the last boy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <but> good. <laughs> yeah, I'm mm -hmm. the last boy. 
You see, my brother Chila had so much, he has, mm. hey, what am I saying, had? I know, yeah. Has so much, like, influence on my music because at some point, every, every other sibling I had had, mm. like, you know, grown and left the house. Mm. And the one in between me and Chilala was in, like, high school, mm. in a boarding school. Mm. So Chilala had, like, graduated his high school. So we were always home because I was, I was in primary. Mm. So he was home all the time listening to hip-hop, you know, mm. just the whole hip-hop culture. No sisters. My sister, I have two sisters, but they were grown. They were okay. long gone out of the house. Mm. So, yeah. So, yeah. So we had that thing of, okay, who's watching TV now? Yeah. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. Um, you tried out modeling and now we're seeing you. People yeah. say you are one of the most branded artists that we have. So are you applying that, which you learned from modeling into the music business? I think modeling, what, what was modeling back in the day isn't really what mm. is modeling now. Because mm. back in the day, you see, it, it, I feel like things go with phases, yeah? Mm. Before modeling... I mean, after modeling, okay, modeling was like the coolest thing to do back in the day. Mm. And then from there, we moved, we switched to dancing. Everybody mm. tried to dance. From then, there was a thing called miming. Everyone wanted to mime a song. Mm. And then now people realize you can actually make a song. Mm. So, yeah, to answer your question, I think, yeah, mm. there's some things I feel like, because you see, modeling is all about confidence. Yeah, yeah you, you, know, you got there. I try. Yeah. Where, is, where does your com confidence come from? I think it's from the household I was brought up in, you okay. know what I mean? So, yeah, everybody, everyone in my family is like, you know, bored and they, mm. yeah. It comes from my dad, man. Okay, strong personality. Do we know your dad, maybe? Nah, my dad is late. My dad used to throw all white parties back in the 90s, trust and me. And you're bringing them back now. Ah, kind of, <laughs> but he used to wear like a lot of white. Oh. Richard Mukando. Oh. Yeah. Um, what's... You go to? Which school did you go to? I, I know you were Zika's, not tertiary, but primary and secondary. Primary, I went to Niza Trust. Ah, you're yeah, really from Choma. Yeah, I went to Niza Trust. Yeah. And then at some point, I went to St. Mark's, but I left. And, yes, yes so I left. Like. I left. Yeah, I went when my older brother was like the head boy, but I only did. I only did two terms because that place was yo. Mm, then where did you go? After? It was too, it was too harsh for me. I went somewhere closer to mom. Mm. Choma Secondary School. Mm, and were you rapping still? Yeah, I was. But then back in the day, we used, I used to, that's when like I'm a Keep Keep came up. So yes, yes, I was yes. more into fashion and started my own like uh, designs with t shirts. Yes. And me and my friends had like a crew. We used to call each other, we used to call ourselves yes. right guys and whatnot. Yeah. When I look at you, I just, I'm seeing a product. Why are you not giving us a product yet? Look at your beards, fine. Mm. Branding oh, fine, see, uh, swag okay. fine. So now, like, you, had, you need to sell us something. I have, I have a product called Jundu You Want To. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my. How yeah. can I forget about that? Yeah. And also, <laughs> I don't want to say much. I like the fact that you mentioned beard, but I don't want to say much. Mm. But yeah, I've got more products coming through. There's something that I have called Wami Wagu Jundu Collections. Mm. Yeah, I'm working, I'm working on it with my brothers in the States. Mm. So, yes, there's going to be more products coming in. Mm -hmm. Nice. Who funds your music, King Ellis? What? Who funds your music? I fund my music. What and do you do? Well wishes. What do you mean? What do I what do? do, do? <laughs> Aside the music, what do you do? Aside the music, it's just music, man. And also, I have like a very supportive system, and I have people who, who believe in me, who just like, want feel like investing. You know what I mean? They just like go all out for me. Why as do well. they believe in us too? <laughs> you see, your network is your network. <laughs> Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, but no one fans my music, man. Like, what do you mean fans? Like, it sounds like a heavy, heavy... Does it? Yeah, but um, there are people who believed in me. Shout out to KMP has believed in me yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah, Hoopa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goli yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Judy, yeah. Uh, Judy, yeah. My manager yeah. believes in me fresh. I've mm. got my family. But that's beyond... I've got a close friend called Bishop believes in me as well. So when you say believe, what do you mean? They'll say, oh, would you hit them up and say, guys, I need this and I need your support. I need to shoot this. I yeah, need this yeah, much. Yeah. I need this much. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, you know, uh, I can't have it all, all the time. There are certain favors I need that are just beyond money sometimes. Mm. It could be a connection and I have somebody. So I think it would be selfish for me to say that um, 
I fund myself and I mm. did this all myself now. Mm. Because I'm always supported. And support, mind you, comes in different ways. Mm. Just somebody showing up at your gig is support. Somebody just encouraging you is support. Somebody, you sharing an artwork with somebody and says, yo, change this is support. Mm. Yeah, even just somebody telling you that's work, that's support. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of gigs, you've, you've oh yeah, no, no, no. You what year was that when you were pushing to perform at the DOT in Livingston? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did you stop the push this year? Nah, because you see, this back then the narrative was different. Was just trying to cement that I'm the king of the south. I have to be on this. Wow, mm. wow, wow. And shout out to DOT, they put me on. Mm. But this time, I think the push is different and my focus is, like, different. Yeah. I'm just trying to, like, uh, get my brand outside the country. Mm. And trust me, uh, you see, outside Zambia, here there's artists that have, like, so much talent and so much value that we don't value. Mm. But outside Zambia, there's this thing that people just believe in what they see. Mm. And your talent, they're going to really add value to it. You know what I mean? Mm. How your branding is, is how they're going to attach money to what you look like. Mm. You know what I mean? But here in Zambia, you, sometimes I feel like you really have to dumb it down. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you really have to dumb it down for people to just believe in you. It's like, also, we tell a rate, a little bit of mediocre here and mm. there. You know what I mean? Before we get to the branding and deals, right? Mm. Um, I love the fact that the emphasis on being the king of the South. Mm. And now, now we're seeing awards categorized um, um, uh, let's say from provinces, we'll say best mm. artist southern, best artist northern, and yes, others are receiving it well, and others are saying, but why should you introduce such categories? And seem to read that you've won, is it twice consecutively, three times consecutively? How does that get to you? For me, I feel like, um. Uh, I don't know how I can put this, man. People are always fighting me about that. Mm. Look, in any field, there are always people that I've not heard of but are doing, like, a good job. You know mm. what I mean? And this is just, like, a category for artists that are not really known on the scene. I feel like, you know what I mean? Mm. There's people in the northern province that are making music that are big. I'll give you an example. Like, in the Copper Belt, there are artists that are big on the Copper Belt. Yeah. But we don't know of in Osaka. Yeah. Don't you think they deserve an award? Or recognition. They do. I love yeah. how Shadrick really is. And that's one thing that I, from that moment on, I'm like, mm. this category actually makes sense to some people because you're so emotional. He, mm. he received the award with so much honor. You see? And I also want to ask you, who are some of the um, artists from Southern Province we can look up or check up? I mean? uh, there are a lot of artists from the Southern Province. Like? I know um, Nash, one of the artists under me. Yes. I know... Um, there's um, there's so many artists, man. Mm. There's there's an artist called Tiger. There's mm. an artist called Noel. Sky Empire. Sky Empire. Slim the Hitmaker. Yes, yeah, Slim. There's <laughs> Edma. There's a guy called the Neomatic. Mm. There's who else? Ah, there's so many, man. There's so many. I hope I've not forgotten any word. There's Cisco. Mm. There's Calusa. Mm. Hey, you know, guys, if I forgot your name, you're on yeah, that as well. That yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Busy born. Mm. It's crazy. So you really feel like you just deserve it to get it two times in a row? To get what? Their award. No, it's not me that nominates myself and I'm not the one that votes. You mm, know what I mean? I love that. Yeah, I'm not the one that votes. I'm not, I don't, I don't nominate myself. You understand? I don't mm. believe in, 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 I don't even vote for myself. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I feel like, it, it has to be credible, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, shout out to Quacha Music Awards. Third time. <laughs> Through yeah. that, dude. <laughs> shout out to <YSL. laughs> How did you land yourself the Johnny Walker deal? Okay, uh, well, I don't know, man. I think they just looked at me on my platforms and just thought I was befitting with the brand. And mm. when, when, when you look at the brand itself, Johnny Walker and myself, I feel like, both brands just complement each other. It's a gentleman's drink. It's a, you know, mm. and it's not really like a gentleman's drink. Even females can have it. There's a drink they call highball. Mm. You know, females can also like enjoy it. Mm. It's just a beautiful brand, man. So yeah, they just picked me out. I think one of the ambassadors is Cleo as well. Shout out mm. to Cleo. 
Man's is always working. Guys, your man's is working. He's always representing, yeah? Mm, yeah, drink responsibly. Yes. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not for no. persons under the age of 25. Not 18. No, man. Like, you know, alcohol... I don't want to talk about alcohol now in the brand itself because, mm. yo, there's certain no, I'm things... Also, I'm also thinking they're going to play a major role um, when it's time for you to launch your album. Well, you see, Johnny Walker is there about to push people and help people define their journeys. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I know that they're in full support of everything that I do, like my whole movement. And, mm. you know, they, they are there to help me stride into positivity. So, mm. most definitely. Nice. Are you single? Yes, I'm single. Huh? Yeah, I'm single. I don't have a girlfriend. That man is just going to cry right now. Say the truth. <laughs> Please cry. <laughs> yeah, I'm single, man. Single, single, single. You didn't find any mama Sita down in SA? Down in SA. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's this one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but yeah, I'm single. What yeah. are you doing in South, in South Africa, King you? Um, I was mixing and mastering my album. I'm networking and also shooting music videos mm. recording collaborating mm. what year was that when casper came to zambia when you really wanted to work with him yeah man that was i think 2015 2015 yeah fast forward before you called him you know mufasa the, mufasa took a picture my man and everything yeah but that was like <laughs> that was like after um, maybe three times after meeting him and the likes mm. But then that that video, I don't like. Okay, cool. With him, for me, I feel like every time I meet that guy, I should not like really take a picture. Or every time I'm talking to him, I should not take a picture because fans expect so much. So that wasn't really the first time you meet him. That was like how the fifth, fourth time. I can't really count. Does he know you look alike? Does he say that? Uh, I think so because <laughs> there were moments I would walk into Sumo and people would think this is Casper. Mm. Even just like at the mall sometimes. What's the nightlife in this? I love the fact that you mentioned sumo. Yeah. Did they, night, did they play your music there? Twice. Which Twice. Uh, Thicker Steve's and Kawama. Mm. Mm, Kawama yeah. is a hit. Yeah, but that's because I kind of know like maybe the DJ playing on the night and I'm supporting them here. Mm. Yeah, but it's registering. My music is playing on certain radio stations in SA. I've got friends there mm. who are radio DJs, mm. you know. Venom. I'm, yeah, What's shut up, Venom. Me and Venom went to high school together. I didn't know he was Zambian. Yeah, he is Zambian. Very much Zambian. Me Zambia. and me and Lusaka. Mm -hmm. Me and Venom went to high school together. He was a grade higher than me. What school is that? Chom Chom yeah, Chomsek, yeah. He He's really from Choma. Who him? Eh. Nah. But he went to Chomsek. Yeah, he went to Chomsek. Okay. Yeah, his name is Nkosi Membe. Oh. Yeah, shout out to him, man. I'm on his album on track number two, Love is Pain. Me, Focalistic, Raspi. Mm. Raspi is the girl on that Sondela song. Sondela. Yeah. So, me, Focalistic, Raspi, and Aubrey Kwana. Mm. You know Aubrey Kwana? Molo, Molo. Mm. Ah, come on. Is it? You guys are sleeping, man. Ah, you yeah. know him. And I was telling you earlier on, I haven't even bumped to Venom's, uh, Venom's album. Venom's album. Yo, she go look at it. Check it out. It's dope. I will. I will. It's dope. Bashi's from Zim, right? So it's Zim like and Zam Bots. Oh, Zim and Bots. Yeah. Okay. Zim and Bots. And Dallas friendship with Shan. But yeah. Elias. Mm. The He's the only guy that shared your song, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Elias, that's a big homie, man. Uh, that's a big brother. How man. did you meet? How did I meet LES? I met LES through PH Raw X. And I met PH Raw X through Scoop Makatini, the God. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, Scoop linked me up with PH. PH, PH, mm. my big homie as well. We've mm. been making music and, you know, just trying to see how best he could also help my brand, mm. you know. So, yeah, through that, I met LES, went to his crib, put up. I was with JK. So JK and Elias know each other from way back. Oh, nice. I think that was like way, way back when JK was driving his Escalade. Mm. You know, and he told me a story about it. Mm -hmm. And Elias was like, yo, what's how you guys living in Zambia? Mm -hmm. Escalade. Mm 
So we got good reputation. Yeah. So yeah, I pulled up to Elias's crib and we were chilling. And yeah, man, we just chopped it up. Elias pulled up, the energy was right. Yo, what's your name? Elias. Oh, wow, wow. The energy was right. He records with his shades on. So he's got like shades in the studio. When what he's going on, he picks this color, this white. Let me throw that at you. What is that one thing you always need when you're recording? When I'm recording? I think I always have like, I always do a kama prayer. Yeah. Then I go in. I don't need, I don't need any alcohol. I don't need to smoke. I actually record better when I'm sober because I know what I'm doing. You know, I'm focused. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't. Yeah. And also sometimes I like my space. Like mm. nobody's there. I do it perfectly because, yeah, I'd be going in, man, doing so many takes until we get the perfect one. Yeah. You know what? You really, you, you really are a cool person. And mm. if people don't know you, people that might think you're cheeky, you're cocky. But I'm cheeky and I'm cocky. No, but in a good way. Uh, or maybe, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. but then maybe towards people you don't know. Yeah, man. I think I've, I've heard that a lot. Like, yeah, maybe it's because of how I look. I don't know. Yeah. And also, about. you're like one of the few people, industry people that can do for me one of my darkest moments. Mm. And for that, mm. I respect. Appreciate, man. But you see, the thing is, people always talk smack online, but you, we don't see it in the streets. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And trust me, the people that... A hater is just a confused fan. Mm. Yeah. It's just a confused fan. Yeah. And uh, do you know that haters make the most hardcore fans. Mm. Yeah. So I always show haters love. And trust me, I have so much thick skin. Mm. Uh, social media doesn't really like phase me. Yeah, speaking of social media, what was this back and forth with you and Dismo? Uh, I, do, I heard about it, but I didn't know about it. <laughs> I think that's him having issues with me, but yeah. Yeah. The Cardinal drama. That one was just like a misplaced <laughs> thing, bruh. And I'm like, yo, come on. This oh, is why hip hop has gotten to. I have to explain lines. I have to apologize. But shout out to her, man. I spoke yeah. to her and she told me, you see, uh, it's different, man. We're different human beings, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I, 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 I respect her craft and I think she's dope, you know? Mm. She's got like a unique sound. Mm. She's dope. But you see, certain things sometimes like social media, they just hit you when you're not ready or when you're going through stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I gave her a call. I spoke to her. I told her, yo, this is what it was. And it was not yeah. even about attention seeking. And maybe I just did it on the wrong platform because people be yeah. always tweeting punchlines or, you know, lines. Mm. And I just didn't think people would just take it that road. So, yeah, yeah man. She's such a cool person, man. Mm. Yeah. How's your how's the relationship with King Diesel now? Uh, with uh, Slap D. Mm. We don't have a relationship. Uh, I don't, you know, what do you mean? When you say relationship, what do you mean? I feel you guys had history. What history? The online back and forth as well. The, uh, there was no back and forth with me and Slap because I was the one that was talking and he never says, so back and forth was never there. Okay, so why yeah. were you talking? I was just saying, I was just being a hip hop artist and I was just speaking, man. Yeah. yeah, man. Like, I was just speaking, and this is what hip hop is. Yeah. You speak. I think that's what that homie you're talking about was trying to do at me as well. Mm. But it was never like from a place of bad. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it's just hip hop, man. So like, you guys would jump on a song together? I, I doubt he would jump on a record with me. Because yeah. we needed to jump on a record. He needed me to jump. I don't know if I'm going to say he or the manager, but his team needed me to jump on a song with him mm. way back. But then it didn't happen because I don't know what caused that. Mm. The song came out, but didn't have like my verse. Ah, I yeah. get it. Let's talk about Mulilo Utzini. Fire. Yeah. What's Let's the plan, man? What's, what's this album full of? Why the hype? Because yeah. I know the title even before you, you told me, right? I yeah. knew the title before you actually mentioned it. Yeah, true. And that's dope. Mm -hmm. And that's because you view my WhatsApp status. <laughs> Push that narrative on Facebook too. Yeah, no. Nah, because you see, the fact that you know about it and what I post on my WhatsApp status, you don't like get it twisted. And mm. you know, 
it's dope. It's what let you know. Sometimes <laughs> let my life let certain people have access to it because when it's public, yeah. people just get things confused. You see, yeah. you can view my WhatsApp status yeah. and not misinterpret things because you know me personally. You know what mm. I mean. So I think let the public know what they need to know, and then. What have you been cooking? I've been cooking an album. It's six, hard. Six months ago, in one of the interviews, let's say seven months. <laughs> I know you lost track. Seven months ago, you said mm. at that moment you felt like the hip hop culture is dead. Is dead. It's dead. What do you think of it now? It's dead. It's dead. What's dead. the hottest Zambian, um, hottest Zambian hip hop song right now? It's dead, like the culture. Is... The... I've not heard the song. But, but you're also di diverting, running away from hip hop. Julia is not. Julia is not hip That's hip hop. That's rap. Yeah, I was rapping on that though. I was just. So... I saw a rapper can be can feel love. No. Oh, oh you feel it. Yeah. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> My point is, we still have to write on the hip hop side. Yeah, man. But I feel like Z hip hop. I don't know, man. Like, it's just not what it used to be, man. Mm. Um, I understand that everybody wants to gig and everybody wants to dance. You mm. know what I mean? So it's been saturated. Like, I've I haven't heard like a hip hop song, a hip a Zambian hip hop record play in the club in a while. But hold yourself. Right. My album coming. Right. Come. Ish. This album. I want to listen to it. I want to sample this album. Who's on this album? Who's on this album? Let me give you like five, three names. Okay. King Ellis, Mami Wagu Jundu, Bala Ngombe. Okay, give me two names before I give them the names that I think and I know will definitely make it. Oh, let me see. No, nah, I'm not going to disclose yet, but there are people... International uh, acts on it? Yeah, most deaf. Mm -hmm. And when you say international, I'm international, so... Come I just, on uh, now. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. man. Yeah, man. What's so special about it? About the album? What, what place does it... Okay, so listen, everybody has like this direction about an album. It should go this way. They should sound like this, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to give the best of myself. I got this advice from Chef 187, yeah? Yeah. Because before I, I called him, I called him, I said, yo, I want to link up, I want to chill, I want to talk. So I told him, say, yo, I'm working on my album. Mm. And you see, for me, you have had like one of the dopest albums in the country. Mm. Personally, that's how I feel. Mm. You know what I mean? So what, what's your thing? Like, what's your niche? What's your, you know, mm. uh, I just want to hear from you. He told me to say, your first album needs to be about you, like just mm. rap, just do what you want to do and just, it's your only chance that you have to like speak, you know. Mm. And your second album, third album, you could do it for, you know, the right sound and all that stuff. So this album, I'm doing it, you know, for my fans, mm. for them to get to know me better, deeper, so. How did you meet 187? How did I meet 187? Ish, it's been long, man. I mean, when, was, when was that? Ish, maybe even like, Ish, only 13. 15. Yeah, but I doubt if he remembers, but about that time. Hmm. Oh, and when did you start talking to Personal level. Personal. Uh, ish. With Chef 187, I think maybe on a personal level, maybe two years ago, mm. after we worked on a song together. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you're popular in this ah! <laughs> <laughs> You can feel up. Oh my, right, oh my. Right. What, what's your plan with this album? Are we getting an album launch? Yeah. What um, are we doing? We're doing an album launch. We're doing an album listening party. Nice. We'll be doing a few activations. Nice. Yeah, man. The rollout is going to have to start like the beginning of November. Only Lusaka or maybe also going to take it back home. We're going to do a tour as well. Nice. I love that. I love that. I, I love that. Um, one last question, man. Give me your top five, top five zit rappers of all time. Nah, see, I've dealt with so much controversy already. Nah. 
Uh, doing so much of that, man. Mm-hmm. Top five. Yeah. Your top five is on my top five. No. Trust me. Give me your your top five. I want to hear your top five. Give me your top five. Uh-uh. Hi. Give me your top five. Oh my, Kigilis. <laughs> Give me your top five. Give me your top five. Wait, by the way, who's that guy you denied on Facebook? Who did that deny? That guy at uh, my friend. I think we need to put up his picture. <laughs> then he just went and commented that, no, I don't know him. Who? I think I should be a fan, but I think she was just trying to make it look like you guys are close. Um... You literally denied the guy online. <laughs> Oh my! I was just maybe in my element. Uh huh. What's your element? My element. My element is just when I'm so focused and just yeah. like being real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. I've not been in my element throughout this interview. Oh. Are you gonna give us the day? You haven't been. Oh. Chat, man. We're chatting. I, d- I doubt if people have seen this version of me. You think so? Nah, we haven't. Why is that? I think um, I'm more exposed now. I'm more exposed. I'm more composed. I've, I've learned the industry. I've, I'm studying two different types of industries right now. What is it that you know now you wish you knew five years ago? So much. Give me one, especially about the TV. Um, networking okay. is number one. Like for me, networking should be your number one investment because it does wonders. Yeah, man. And also... People just hear networking, but they don't understand. What is networking? Networking is meeting people, making connections. Yeah. And also doing... I also learned that doing a song with a big international artist doesn't make you international. Doesn't make you bigger. Because, look, here's the thing. If you're going to try to uh, penetrate an industry, if you're going to collaborate with like a big artist that's not gonna work like essay for me this is what i personally have seen you it's mm. not gonna work trying to feature like a big essay artist mm. well it depends on how your relationship is but 80 percent of the time they're not really gonna share your content mm. or 90 percent of the time but if you work with like this there's artists you see some artists are big outside the country but they're not big in their in country their yeah so there's some names down here that we think are big even down there but they're not as relevant so i i switched my focus to working with artists that are relevant right now and that are on the come up and then you know yeah and you know these guys when they drop music the streets listen yeah yeah so i learned that as well i just remembered something now Mm. you started this whole dj thing zambian digital thing zambian music do they play zambian music I think you started. Oh. But are you giving us... I think you've, they've started. Was <laughs> it after that brand? Yeah. yeah. But do you Shout think... Do you think... The most. Do you think you're giving them good music to play in the class? Zambia make... We all make good music, bro. Like, Zambians make good music. The only thing that we need to do is embrace and support each other more. When you go to Congo, you hear Rumba. When you mm. go to SA, you hear Ama Piano. Mm. When you go to where? What other place? There's so oh, many places. When you go to Tanzania, I listen to that. That's Swahili music. Mm. So much confusing. I came down here. We were Venom down here. And we were in the club. And he's They're telling me, he's telling me, dog, music. I just feel like I'm still in the club. And they say, wow. Where's like that Zambian, you know, music? And we make dope music, man. Yeah. We just really need to embrace each other more and just like support local, man. Yeah. I can't Start wait. To, I can't wait to sample the album. Yeah, we should do it. I can't wait to sample you the album as well. Yeah. Mulilo Utazimi. Something special. It's my debut album. I've taken so long. Mm, why so long? It had to be the right time, right energy, right resources, right uh, time of my life. Mm. You know, I'm so grateful, man. I was in an accident, almost lost my life. When was that? I think uh, the fact that you didn't hear about it, I'm... I'm I didn't hear about it. Was it online? I'm grateful that I'm alive. Yeah. I didn't see that. I think I posted, yeah. I had an accident, like... What? Tire burst, lost what control were you going? in the drainage. What were you coming for? I was, I was coming from Cattell. I was mm. supporting Bombshell for her. She had a gig. Mm. Yeah, so from there, driving, tire burst, lost control. Driving? Yeah, I was alone. 
I was following each other, my manager. Well, Lost speeding. control. Nah, we we're just driving below 60. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I was just, it was just normal driving. Uh, I was not drunk. We are just yeah. driving because it was just an in and out so there's a tire performance. Burst. Yeah, tire burst, lost control, got into a drainage, airbag popped out. I'm always wearing my seatbelt, always wear a seatbelt, don't drink and drive. I was not drinking. What was going through your mind at that time? At that time, you know, I was just like in a space that I thought like, yo, I would have been God. Because I remember my manager dashing back because yeah. he was ahead of me. They have this thing where they, they usually put me in between and whatnot. Mm. So um, the guy coming behind me is usually my brother. Mm. So um, I think, I don't know what happened. I think he must have gotten stuck in traffic or something. Mm. So this guy was far much ahead of me. He told me that when he looked back, he just saw dust. And he was like, no, this guy is always bumper with me. Mm. So when he drove back, he saw the car in the drainage and I was already out of the car. So he jumped into the drainage trying to look for me. You know what I mean? He thought I was still in the car. Mm. And I was, I had taken a walk. I don't know where I was going, man. So it's true what to say. You act a little bit confused. No, I was not confused. I knew what I was doing because I was trying to call him. Okay. So I didn't see him bypass me. So I was trying to call him and then he picked up the phone and then he looked at me. Dude, don't okay? ever scare me like that. Wow. <laughs> was this the first time in, in an accident? accident yeah. Oh, wow. It was so bad, like the whole front was gone. The windshield was cracked. I literally went into the drainage. I lost control. Yeah. How much, what's the highest you spent in the club? Mm, I've, been, <laughs> I've made bad decisions, bad choices. Between me and you? Mm. Ish, it's a lot, man. How man. much? What I can remember, 60K. In one night? Yeah, that's the that's in Zambia. Yes, in Zambia. So in South Africa. Hey, oh, there's double up. Sixty <laughs> k. Yeah, that's what I remember. Like that's the only one. But obviously, that's like personally. But obviously, when we when we with the boys, sometimes it gets higher than that. Yeah. Like, sometimes you just get a little excited. Now I know. When I see in the club, I'm like, I'm chilling with the big boys tonight. No, oh, you'll be disappointed. What's <laughs> <laughs> in the blue moon when I'm with the right? But it's oh, not much because there are people who spend like a hundred thousand in the club. I know, but that's okay, it's too much. That's a music video. And but, yo, I went to this party and I say <laughs> it was Bob's party. You know, Bob's yeah, used to be a big, big brother. brother. Yo, one table is like a hundred K, and upon entrance, you spend you, you buy a table for like 25K just to get yourself in the venue and get yourself a table. And we were at the 100K table. Mm. Well, yeah. I saw that. I can't even disagree. I saw that. Yeah. So Yo! The nightlife down there is big, man. Like, it's, it's heavy. I feel like we'll, we will catch up with time. Yeah? Yo! Now, enough of this, then we're not, now I'm just going to do Nigeria. Nigeria, now. yeah. I can't but Nigeria is heavier than this side because they're, they're really about their money. So you know people in Nigeria? I know the bunch. I oh, know nice. Mr. Easy. Oh, yeah, Valentine's. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, Easy. Is he on the album? Mm. They're going to see when it ah, comes out. Ah, ah. Ulila Utazimi. Is he on the album? They're going to see when it comes out. Come on, man. So, yeah. You're the only oh, artist Mr. Easy made Mr. when he came. Mm. Nah, I think he made somebody else. Bombshell. Oh, yeah, he made Bombshell. That's because, yeah. What? No, 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 no. Because of okay. you're pushing in the in power. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know Mr. Easy. We chat on WhatsApp. Nice. I know. I chat with Kabza. Ah, yeah. that's my man. <laughs> that's my man. That's my man. Shout out Kabza. No, but we're talking about Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about your back down sound. Yeah. King of the South Kain. I know Van Vika. Oh. I know. Oh yeah, we saw that picture. Yeah. Who else do I know? There's so many, man. Nice. I'm, I'm talking to Sakodi's manager, Angelo. Nice. Yeah. But would you manage to pay Sakodi a feature? Mm. You guys just have to wait for the album. It's not called Murilo Chai. Hey, chai. Chai, chai, chai. And it's going to be like, I'm going to drop the first. There will be a deluxe version as well. So. Oh, nice. 
I'm giving the people the music. Right. Can't wait. All the best. I'm yeah. gonna reserve some questions for when we listen to the album. Listen in part. You yeah. need to pull up. We're pulling up. We need to get the official invitation at the hundred K table. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are we doing hundred K tables now? At the highest table, please. Yeah. That's why we're coming. Yeah, high level. You gotta be there. Yeah. You gotta be there. Yeah. Anything yeah. you'd love to say. Anything okay. I'd love to say, man. This is King Ellis, the king of the south. Mommy wa gujundu. Y'all been rocking with me for too long and I appreciate it. Yeah. About to give you a body of work. Thanks to everybody that supports me. My management team, my family, my mm -hmm. friends, uh, the fans. Mm -hmm. You know, I uh, appreciate it, man. Like, it's, 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 it's been amazing, man. Yeah. You know, um, and yeah, man. Go drink that you want. Yeah, go drink that Jundu you want to. Jundu you want to. Yeah. Okay. How's it selling, though? It's selling good. I just removed my face off it. Why? And I don't know why I'm telling you these things. You have a way of getting information out of me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Shout out to everybody who's been tuning in right now. And if, you've been, if you have subscribed, thank you so much. Remember to subscribe. I was hanging out with the King of the South, and I'm sure we need viewers from Southern Province, yeah. from yeah. South yeah. Africa. Yeah. You're the I'm King sure of the South. Man. I know, but you're the of the south and a lot of people have been saying why why are you not bringing king Elist on do you read our comments yeah, I'm here. do you watch do you watch our channel of course i watch you who doesn't know the people's base the comments people want you yeah, people even propose on this thing <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is uh, remember to subscribe and leave a comment it's hashtag elevating the industry peace out